this cabinet here. We have the airbag hoses and regulators in that compartment. Salvage equipment in this compartment. Here's something that is unmarked at this time. This is a 2250 air bottle, MSA air bottle. And we'll have to pull those out one at a time if you had to get them, take the middle one out. Um, this is for the airbags, which were in the first compartment, which are in this compartment here, excuse me, and also for the air chisel, just so people know that. Air chisel and the airbags, this bottle up here. If you hook up our large bottles, we'll blow up a seal. Have our K-12 saw. Behind our K-12 saw. We have our funnel, some miscellaneous parts for the saw, chain oil, that sort of thing. Spark plug wrench. Underneath, obviously, we have cribbing. On this side, we have two extra saw blades for the K-12 saw and our two air lifting airbags. And again, the hose and regulators are up there for that. This compartment here. Have our pickhead axe, ceiling puller, halligan. Flathead axe, we have our life jackets, our cold water immersion suits, and two high level rescue packs ready to go with helmets. We also have four uh, air tanks, spare air tanks. This one here, with our very large bolt cutter, pry bar next to that. Right here we have our small bolt cutter, our uh, large hammer, we have two shovels in the back, we also have our trailer hitch, our bucket of floor dry, extension cord, and a short broom. This side here we have our electric hose reel. Got our two lights, got our junction box for the hose reel, and electric fan for ventilation. We are now on top of engine two. We just opened the top compartment. Inside here we have a lot of equipment. We have our hard suction hoses. We have multiple shovels. We have our squeegees. We have beaters. We have a hose clamp, a high rise jack. We have multiple pieces of lath, our Stokes basket, uh, pylons, and our, what do you want to call that, Jeff? Our uh, some strainer floats strainer for the hard float suction. For the hard suction. Strainer float for the hard suction. We also have one panel of uh, Class A foam. Excellent. Our small door, right down the ladder here. We have our deck master remote, where you plug in the uh, remote, which is on the pump panel, so you can back away from the truck to see the monitor. And then we have our backup alarm inside that, that the person backing the truck is supposed to be using. Over here, we have the power ladder rack, power for the ladder rack. We we'll turn the power on. All right, comes up. Put the ladder rack on. We can see what we have on the ladder rack. We have two pipe poles, one eight-foot pipe pole and one ten-foot pipe pole. We have a twenty-four-foot extension ladder. On top of that, we have our 14 foot roof ladder. And on this side, we have our attic ladder. And that's uh, all the equipment we have. Okay, passenger compartment, engine two. In our top
top covered up here. We have a head block. We have a hair traction. We have hair splints. OB kit. That's what we have in here. This upper compartment right here. We have pro splints. We have a KED. We have isolation suits. We have Tyvek suits. And we have a blanket. In our middle cabinet right here, we have pre plan books. A couple miscellaneous pre plan books. We also have some pre plan books in the front and the middle. And also our Scott Eagle Thermal, thermal Imager. Behind the glass here, we have our Black & Decker screw gun. We have two spare, spare masks inside the bags. In the far back, we have breathing masks. We have a pair of binoculars. We have miscellaneous safety vests. We have the mini ray, should be plugged in. We also have the Raytech heat gun, the uh, mini CO, personal bags for people who need their belongings put together. We have some miscellaneous gloves. And we have a plastic bin, and that has a smoke detector uh, installation kit inside.